So Eliza is, is a whole new paradigm, a new ecosystem, new way of thinking about doing sound. So when we started this concept of Eliza, the first thing we actually did was step back and look at the way we do things as an industry. Um, we looked at the way we design shows, the way we mix shows. And what we started to realize is that the, the low hanging fruit, the, the easy thing for making a show better is not just making a speaker a little bit louder or a little bit this or a little bit that. There's a fundamental flaw, there's an original sin in sound design that's been happening since the 1960s, which is you have these performers, these actors, these musicians on stage, and the sound comes from far away. It doesn't connect with what you see with what you hear. We need to reconnect the audio and the visual senses. We need to make these two one. Um, so Eliza is about refusing both what you hear and what you see and putting it back together. And this technology is as fundamental about design as it is mix, uh, as it is about hardware. Um, it's, it's the three to make that, that new ecosystem. Uh, if we think about the way we mix a show right now, we have a stereo PA and we have a lead vocalist, but we pan the lead vocalist center, which means that we don't actually mix anything in stereo that's critically important to the music. Everything critically important is mixed in dual mono. And so what we've done is we've just removed all the destructive interference, the inferential fields, the destruction, the distortion in the signal path from these beautiful microns, the speakers to mixing consoles, to reintroduce it back with dual mono. So Lisa is about removing that interference and making the sound system better and giving people a connection, a fusion, and better quality sound for all. Lisa is being used on a number of different live and installation applications. Um, we have, we've had it uh, on, on tour already and across Europe. Uh, we have pop music, uh, we have uh, art exhibits at museums and festivals like Coachella, Panorama, um, uh, numbers of shows around the world we've done uh, in the hundreds of shows with Elisa already. So Elisa brings a number of different advantages to the audience, to the musician, to the talent. Uh, first and foremost, it gets more people in an immersive environment, that feeling of, of, of space in your mix and, and place and localization. Uh, for the musician, they have a place for art. No longer is the goal just can you hear me, but can you hear me and can I create something that's unique and interesting. It gives a reason for the audience to come to the show. It gives a reason for the audience to pay attention. Uh, it really fuses the show. When you come to a show with Eliza, it feels like you're a part of a smaller, more intimate, more natural experience. Eliza is about getting most or all of the audience in that sweet spot that we're so used to having for those few people in stereo. So everyone in the audience experienced that multidimensional mixing. Everyone in that audience experienced that wide panorama, that immersion, that connection to the show that we are the few select that get to sit at front of house experience now. For front of house engineers, uh, we have the ability to mix and find space in our mix, not by EQing and dynamics and amplitude, but by space. So if there's some crowded information over here with the piano and the guitar and the voice, instead of having to EQ each one for hours, I just move one to the left and one to the right. What's really fun about Eliza is the first time everyone hears Eliza versus the way we've always done it. It's impossible to go back, whether it's musicians, front house engineers, producers, lighting guys, accountants, everyone says the same thing. We can't go back to the way it was done.